大家好，初次见面，我叫钟祥，钟祥。呃、uh, ，It's my、uh, second time on the GMGC. Uh, coming from the last time that I joined in the GMGC Beijing. And always, I'm very enjoying to the interact with a、yeah, very prosperous Chinese publisher and developer. And yeah, obviously, I'm a Japanese, so it's a bit rare existence in this news. And、uh, we came from the Bushiroad, it's a new company, and I just joined this September. So beforehand, my past track record, yeah, so starting from the, my brief introduction, and、uh, my past experience is the DNA, the Lloyd, and Banerampo, and、uh, establishing the studio of Canada and.、Uh, Uh, uh, Canada and Singapore. And mostly my career comes from the mobile development. So that's why the Shiro is now on the phase of globalizing their mobile business. So that's why I just joined this uh, less than one month. But I, it's very exciting to come to China and to find a good publisher to collaborate with. So, starting from the, before getting down to the main session of the today's anime, manga, and potentials. Let me briefly explain about the Bushiro. So I'm not sure to I'm not sure that to what extent people you guys know about this company, but、uh, yeah, it's less than ten years. 2007, it was founded, and four business pillars we have. So foundation come from the trading card game business, and that is a revenue driver for us to create a new IP, and it diverged into the digital game, mobile, and media, even TV publication and radios. And live entertainment. It's a bit rare combination of the mobile game and the live entertainment. But thanks to the four business pillars, we have a growth、uh, hugely. So starting from 2007, now the size was、uh, around 226 million in the yearly sales. And number of the people also like、uh, 200 something. And nine years like for the growth it has achieved. And this is the second challenge of the, our founder Takaki Kirani.、Uh, he started his own company globally. It's also kind of the geeks focused、uh, toys and、uh, some convention management business. And that was also succeeded to be IPO, and、uh, it passed to the Takaratomi Gunpo and Anime. And after that, he challenged the second one. And、uh, fortunately, the second one succeeded. Uh, second one is overcome the fast sales. So those streamline of the product, like、uh, TCGs, we have developed more than five or six. But those three titles is a very iconic one. And also the game business has just started three years ago. And Love Life School Idol Festival it has just published in China two years ago. And、uh, Rayon Shinchan, I don't know what it said in Chinese, but.、Uh, That we also going to be on China market, and medias and、uh, live. So those cascade have created 200 million size of sales, and we are aiming at second challenge is to globalize. So still,、uh, most of our sales come from Japan, but、uh, next five years we are going to expand this existing famous IPs into the China or some other Asian region. So that is my second assignment. I have to challenge, and we have a four location all over the world. So Japan and、uh, CA、uh, located in Singapore, and America and Germany, and also the our main business trading card game. That is a banger, verified virtuals. So actually, more than twenty locations we are holding the. Championship or the actual trading card. That is a very important moment for us because it's a very beginning of business. We can interact with users on the side, on the place of the trading card. So based on that experience to interact with the users, we can harness this as a business. So when we start of the yeah, we have strong relation with those anime and、uh, manga content. So that is my yeah, not only the company but my personal. Curiosity is how the Japanese potential to be more famous in Asia region by use of the power of manga and anime, and most of the character should be famous in most of the guys. Nobody doubts it. Those are the one of the strengths of the Japanese content industries. So characters makes the soft powers into the global region. 
And uh, this is the total market size of the happening in Japan of the content industry. Unfortunately, manga and uh, yeah, the animation is not so big portion. Mostly come from the TV ads and also the mobile and the console games. But however, the proportion of the manga and animation happening in Japan is like that. Very stable, 3,000 million in manga and 2,000 in animation. It hasn't changed a lot through the 10 years history. In these days, most of the Chinese companies very aggressively take a hand into Chinese animation production. So more often, more often, I can hear some famous Chinese company is trying to make a collaboration for the production of animation and a game by use of the Japanese characters. So getting down to the exporting side, so compared to the previous page, this is the exporting sales of the Japanese contents. And what we can see is only game, and mostly the console game. Even the mobile game, the proportion comes from the mostly Western country, but the 100, 300, 600 million size is coming from outer world. So 7,000, 8,000 is the market size of the mobile happening in Japan, but less than one tenth we can gain from the outer world. So originally our international business mostly come from Nintendo, Sony, those are console makers. So take a closer look, just one digit less. Then you can see slightly the proportion coming from the, yeah, mostly Asian, but uh, coming from manga and animation, just gain 200, 300 million coming from Asia and Western countries. So we are completely failing to get the revenue from the outside world. So why are Japanese so global shy? And more than that, I'm very yeah, questionable why certain characters, One Piece, Naruto, and so many characters is, have a good presence in the world. However, the market size coming from out of world is such a very limited number. So that is the main point I'm going to tell you today. So why is getting popular, huh? Then this is a market size of Japan, manga and anime. And you can see the Asian market. And I can paste the orange color circle, meaning of the contents coming from Japanese related contents. So in Asia, we have a big portion, more than half Half of the shares of the manga comes from Japanese contents. Anime is a bit limited, but in Europe, Middle East, and Asia, proportion is like that. In US, which is a very famous country for the movie and the theater filming, like that. We are very low profile in Western countries by using of the manga and anime. So global sales is still very limited. So in some sense, uh, that is the same problem with China's. Domestic market is too huge, so we are not so incentivized to go out. The one of the big problem is piracy. Unfortunately, manga and anime is very easily accessible by without paying money. So thanks to the government calculation, they have survey hundred thousand of the users, what kind of site they are accessing to the anime and manga, what is the source they are consuming the, those contents. And it's very interesting, the survey, the outcome is uh, core users and light users, uh, I mean it's 37 million users of Japanese manga consumers, uh, just the proportion is like that, red line is uh, completely pilot users who haven't paid anything for the content. And the gray line is the official users and also the simultaneous official and the pilot users. Partially they pay money and partially they don't pay money. And the white line, white colors mean the actual payment users. Compared to Japan, US is like that. So final number come out from these statistics is like this one. Piracy ratio happening in Japan is 7% to 17%. But in it, 
it's a data of the United States, but uh, we can apply to the other countries and a way more higher ratio happened in the Asian market. 50%, more than 50% users haven't paid enough, sufficient amount of the consumption. So that is the bottleneck why we cannot gain the sales or revenue from the outer world. So lost monetized potential. In Japan, just one tenth. It's a dismissible proportion, but US or the other world is more than half. So that is the bottleneck we have to tackle from now on. And another extended calculation is if the US users try to pay the money for their consumption in the same proportion of Japan, what happens? So it's a very hypothetical calculation, but 5,000 more than big size market happen in the US. And like that, animation and the accumulation of the animation and mangas market coming from US should be more than Japan. And if we, if we apply to the Asia and Europe, like that. So in the end of the day, we come to realize 8 billion to 25 billion of sales is losing, uh, despite of the fact that animation manga is consumed a lot. But uh, it's a bit pointless calculation. What happens is happens. We cannot change the world. Once the users start to, yeah, just learning the how do we access to the manga and anime, they can consume freely. It, it not happens, we can let, we let them to pay the money afterward. So we have to change, we have to shift our mindset. So in some sense, we can think like that. We can, I can replace this situation into the, we are freely broadcasting our media. Uh, we can make use of the media power by using this manga and anime's powers. We can gain money, however, the 10 to 20 billion size of the broadcasting is happening all over the world. So what next happening is uh, how do we make use of the recognition of the Japanese characters? So I'm not sure that you guys may know that one, but uh, animation market is uh, limited in Japan, but uh, there are so many uh, adjacent areas, TVs and goods and uh, so many related areas is gaining the market from the power of the anime. And this is a it's essential market size of the animation. It's not animation market itself, but the TV, film, video, subscription. So mostly the big portion of sales of the animation, not coming from the direct sales, but more than that, selling the license to the each related area. So even if we fail to gain money in the animation market, however, it's just uh, 20, less than 20 percent, even in Japan. But 80 percent comes from the other revenue driver. So one of, one of the easiest direct uh, imagination is uh, after broadcasting the anime and manga freely, but the gaming or the goods, other business can sweep in the world, sweep in the market by using their power. So what I'm thinking is like that. So based on the current recognition of the anime and manga, and our live entertainment contents, and uh, gaming contents, media contents, we are bridging the gap between the actual recognition and the market starts. And the last three slides I can show you what is the problem J Japanese company is facing. So you may know Japanese are a bit shy people, not fluent in English, and more surprisingly, the most of the company doesn't have the business development itself. We don't have the concept of the business development because uh, yeah, coming from the gaming business and the animation business come from the craftsmanship, we don't have the talent to go out. So in the enquête of the each country's what is the bottleneck of globalizing their business, the proportion the Japanese company addressed the HR, we are lacking talent. It's a much bigger, more than double of the other countries. It's a prominent and a totally different from the different environment from the other country. So Japanese lacks talent 
to initiate, negotiate, and elaborate. And to getting down to, yeah, to more precisely look at this data, uh, those four bottlenecks we are facing, in the case we try to globalize our content. Uh, content problem, and license problem, product problem, control problem, and we can see the index, the impact index of the each factor. Biggest one is definitely talent. So Japanese company just simply needs a window. They have the content, they know we have a strong power as a recognition, however they don't have just a salesman. What we need is a salesman to approach. So today's outline we are going to, uh, I'm going to present you is, uh, yeah, JP anime manga needs to globalize with a huge potential. And the domestic market doesn't have a huge potential because of the declining, uh, declining population and uh, aging. And those problems make us in a detriment. It's harder to break this problem. Uh, through the piracy, 10 to 20 video market is lost. But however, on the other hand, it's already gained 10 to 20 billion size of the media impact. So Japanese company just lacking the talent. So what are we thinking is uh, kind of the bridging the gap, Bushiro. So the last three I gonna tell you the those two titles is uh, one of our iconic games. So left side dark life stride festival it gains more than 10 million. <coughs> monthly sales in Japan, very successful titles in a collaboration with a club, and it just released in China two years ago. And uh, we are aiming to uh, now gain the four million users in China, but uh, we aim at more, more than that. And Korean uh, Shinchan is going to be released in China. Uh, it's it's going to be soon. It doesn't take a long time, but it now gain in Japan, three, six million. So the, I expect much more than that in China and other regions. And not only those two titles, but we are developing two titles, uh, three titles, is going to be released next spring. So this is the original, uh, Bandori, it's a short letter. Uh, it's an idol unit on the voice actress. It's actually playing the music and actually playing the yeah, guitars and drums and uh, in a collaboration with the live entertainment and the music sales and also gaming. It's gonna happen the next spring. And the animation has started, uh, will start from the next January. And the Symphony uh, XD, it's a collaborative title with a Glee. Please put a Labo is the developer of this game. And also the last Moshias, we are TCG company, so we are developing TCG uh, simultaneously, it, it can play. So the, we have the booth and the stairs, so after this session, if you guys have any interest to collaborate with us, please feel free to ping us. And that is a, a short, but uh, yeah, what well, I prepared for today, but yeah, the machine is going to make, uh, to launch the, those two titles and also the, try to make a launch. So we try to show up more profile more and more this World's first China, China market. So I hopefully get down more deeply about this market. So thank you so much for taking time.